Okay, so to keep going with what I was saying about different length cutters, I'm going to use this 66 drive link steel hexa chain. So I've sharpened this one so it is now shorter than what the rest of them are going to end up being. Uh, the difference is in length, that's 9.6 millimeters is the average for the rest of them. This is 7.4, so we're down 2 mils. Hopefully that should be enough to show the difference. It's not a big difference, but it should be enough for what we need to do here. So when I'm talking about damage, this cutter coming up is what I'm referring to. You can see the very outside of that corner has taken damage. The damage that's on the outside of this corner is just from regular use. This is why we have to sharpen chains. It's just part of it. Doing its intended job will result in this occurring. That's what you're looking for when you're sharpening. And that's what I've noticed more of when running a shorter cutter in front of uh, longer length ones. They'll take more of this damage and require more of that to be removed when you sharpen. I really don't know if this will show up on the camera but when I'm talking damage this cutter shows it quite well you can see where the very top edge of this top plate actually started folding over it's got a little shiny spot out on the corner so it's this following one you can see right on the very corner where it's taken some damage now it's not major by any means it's just regular this chain got used for probably a tank or two of fuel but it is showing damage on the corner this is part of the problem with any full chisel chain and why the performance drops off pretty quick because it doesn't take much damage at all to that outer corner for it to lose its cutting efficiency So we need to just keep going with that file until we clear that. That was pretty easy. But yeah, this is... So if you run a full chisel chain, that corner's actually back a fair bit. If you run a full chisel chain for a tank... If you test it... If you test the cutting speed of a full chisel chain when it's straight out the box or... That cut is very hard. If you test the cutting speed of a full chisel chain when it's straight out of the box or just been sharpened and then run it for 10-15 minutes or just run through a tank of fuel and try it again the performance drop off is actually quite rapid and it's because of this very fine edge just starting to get that little bit of damage like this it's minuscule what's there but it is there and it does happen unfortunately and that's part of the And that's why we run semi-chisel a lot of the time. We, that corner becomes much larger and that amount of damage is not significant to the cutter. This one's got it too. There we go, that got it. I suspect this isn't showing up on camera, but this is another prime example of what I'm talking about when I'm referring to damage. It's cut right here. The very tip of that corner, I can see it's been flattened. Right at the very, very tip. You can see bright shiny metal there where there shouldn't be. It doesn't match the rest of it. But when I'm talking about the damage it takes, that's what I'm talking about. We're looking for if it takes more of that than the rest of them and my experience is that it does
If you're wondering why I'm taking so many strokes on this, there's a couple of reasons. One, this file's done two chains, and it's pretty banged up. It's pretty much at the end of the life. It's not really doing anything useful. Two, steel chain is generally very hard. It takes a bit more effort to remove to remove metal on these versus most other brands. A lot of people take that as a sign that they hold an edge longer. Doesn't really seem to be true to my experience, but maybe it is for you. Another one with damage on the corner. The following one is a lot worse. So that's what I'm looking to do when I'm sharpening. What everyone should be looking to do when they're sharpening is removing that damage. Need some chain break there to hold that one. So the entire point of sharpening We're not looking for big damage like we've broken the whole top plate off or anything like that. We're just fixing this stuff where that corner's knocked in. That cutter won't cut very well at all as it currently stands. needs to be filed till that damage is gone have a look from underneath make sure everything's good down there and then you can move on to the next one this one is not as he's in better shape than the one before it and the one after it it happens not everything wears equally You're aiming for it to wear equally but shit happens Take a golden opportunity to do something else while we're here. Constant depth gauge. Can this style of gauge compensate for different heights? I don't know if we're going to hit this because it's been done with a progressive. So that's one that I've just sharpened. Here's the short one. Can we compensate for it? There's quite a lot of that sticking out the top. Let's see how much of it comes off. That's a whole lot removed, I'd say. I would say yes, you can. wondering what the second part of doing this depth gauge is file it off if you're using one of these style gauges file it off tilt it down so it's protecting the cutter come in and round it off when you file it it's going to end up with a flat section on top just round it back off try and keep its original shape throughout its whole life You're not trying to remove any more off the actual height, you're just trying to round it. You should be doing the same thing with a progressive gauge as well. So yeah, they can compensate for one short cutter out of the bunch. The Oregon types with it in the middle, not so much because it sits on, it'll sit on these other two cutters here or four, depending on the gauge and pitch and everything. Sorry, depending on the chain pitch, it might sit on four or three, depending. These, drop it on top, put it in there, 
nestle it in a little bit of pressure on top of the cutter done easy another tip if you're using this style of gauge make sure it's mounted on something or it has a fair bit of tension on it or otherwise when you put it on and you push forward a bit to get it in the back it actually starts rocking it forwards messes with the height and don't stress, I'll take a progressive gauge with me in case anyone's looking to see the difference.